Well, if I had to guess what's going on in the Intel HQ right now, it would probably be something like this. <coughs> because the AMD Ryzen 3000 series has had another price leak and it's looking really, really good for them. There's been this image floating around and a few others that have been telling us what exactly we can be looking forward to in this brand new 7 nanometer CPU from AMD and it's looking really really well so as you can see they will be including plenty of variants and what's most notable about this little table here in Forbes which I'll be linking down in the description below is that they're moving on to the 9 series so they're not just sticking to Ryzen 7 they're going up and beyond for the high end market with the Ryzen 9 and this thing is a beast it has 16 cores 32 threads, a base clock of 4.3, turbo clock of 5.1, a TDP of 135 watts, and it costs $500, which may seem like a lot, but compared to Intel CPUs that perform similar to that, yeah, that is really, really low, because Intel has been really going insane with the prices recently, and having them really, really high, so hopefully this should be a wake-up call on them, seeing how much competition they will have on this thing and they will have competition because just look at these prices versus the performance you're getting i mean for that the cheapest one 99 dollars you are getting six cores 12 threads base clock of 3.2 boost clock of 4 and a tdp of 50 watts that is an insane value or $99. Now this isn't final by the way. These are all just predictions and leaks and stuff from other like data mining stuff like that. So this isn't a final table of what the prices will be like, but they are looking really really well. If I had to guess what most people would go for, they would probably go here in the mid region because the mid region is really interesting because this is like where most people will go. You know, not everyone wants a super expensive one not, not everyone can get like a super expensive one but also they want good performance and not just like 3.2 base clock which is not enough for many people so the middle is where they really go so for example this one the ryzen 5 3600x which is i what i will personally get is probably what i see most people getting because it's a base clock of 4 gigahertz 8 cores 16 threads and they have a boost clock of 4.8 gigahertz and only cost $229, which is an insane amount of value right there. Now, I don't really see too many people going above this, the Ryzen 5, because I don't see too many people needing 12 or even 16 cores. So that's why I think this Ryzen 5 will be the main focus for AMD. I will probably have a full analysis video of what this all means for Intel coming up in the future. And I'll be, like I said, I'll be linking this down in the video description below. Let me know if you're excited for Ryzen 3000. And if you're planning on getting one, let me know which one you're planning on getting right now from this list here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this really quick video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.